It's time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Yes, so LeBron has yet another movie project happening, and it's going to be based on his life, also based on his book Shooting Stars about his youth basketball team Mm -hmm. and how he and his childhood friends beat the odds and won a championship and formed lifelong bonds. I actually read that book. Okay. All right, so, I mean, he has so many things going on. He has reboots of Friday the 13th house. He has all of that. Have you been watching his... um, Jamel Hill show. I seen some. You know, I'm very excited for LeBron. I love what he's doing. I love what he's taking outside of basketball, creating opportunities, creating jobs for other people. So I respect LeBron and that whole team over there. All right, now let's talk about Mara Braca Kill, and this hurts my heart. Explain to people who that is. Now, Mara Braca Kill created the show Girlfriends and Being Mary Jane. She has this show called Love Is that's on OWN right now. I watched the entire series that's based on her relationship with her husband, Mm -hmm. Salim Akil, how they met, they fell in love. She was up here, right? Yeah, she was up here, and here's what happened. I tell him I love him. Every Mm -hmm. morning, I get morning beautiful, He morning handsome. It is a daily commitment. It is literally like, I want to be with you. Mm -hmm. He's also more than my husband. I feel like even husband is very limiting to our relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, He's my best friend. He's my business partner. So there's a lot of touch points for us to draw from to stay together. Mm -hmm. But he's literally my best friend. Well, now there's these allegations of domestic violence and breach of contract by Salima Kill's alleged former mistress, Amber Dixon Brenner. Now, according to these papers that were filed, and they were just filed last week, uh-huh. uh, she's accusing him, and by the way, Salima Kill is the Black Lightning co-creator, for breach of contract and saying numerous different things about their alleged 10-year affair. Mm-hmm. She says there were multiple claims of physical and sexual abuse. He would force her to perform oral sex and then urinate in, his, in her mouth. She also says that wow. he stuck three fingers up her anus and started lecturing her, slapped her, strangled her during sex, uh, took sexual wow. pictures of her without her consent, would threaten her if she ever got pregnant, saying that he would dispose of her in a desert, and Damn. that if she cheated on him, he would stick her hand in a hot skillet of grease, he made her look a wall, all kinds of things. Now, we don't know if these allegations are true, so these are just allegations at this wow. point. But I can't imagine what they're going through, because when Mara Braca Kill was up here, she was so in love with her husband, yeah. so this is just... A very complicated situation. Now, her lawyer is saying the reason why she endured this abuse for so long, she was scared that she would get blackballed because of his power and prominence in the industry. Wow. But for 10 years and and it's just coming out now? Well, she just, you know, did this now. So that's why she said she waited so long. Wow. Because she was scared she would get blackballed. Well, I guess we can't judge now. We got to hear both sides. I right. Guess. So this is this is just um, but something if that's that true, has that's been, crazy. This lawsuit that has been filed against him. So we don't know what his side of the story is as of yet. Now, she also says that she had some ideas that she pitched to him and he stole her ideas as well. Oh, boy. All right. Ariana Grande has launched a Dangerous Woman Diaries documentary series. And that actually starts uh, now. It's an intimate look at her during her Dangerous Woman tour and some footage of her performing. So if you guys have YouTube premium, you can check that out. OK. And Steph Curry. I love this. A nine year old fan wrote a letter and got posted online and she was upset she couldn't get any of the Steph Curry sneakers. Her name is Riley, by the way. Really? And she said in the letter, Dear Stephen Curry, my name is Riley, just like your daughter. I'm nine years old from Napa, California. I'm a big fan of yours. I enjoy going to Warriors games with my dad. I asked my dad to buy me the new Curry Fives because I'm starting a new basketball season. My dad and I visited the Under Armour website and were disappointed to see there were no Curry Fives for for sale under the girls section. However, they did have them for sale under the boys section, even to customize. I know you support girl athletes because you have two daughters and you host an all-girls basketball camp. I hope you can work with Under Armour to change this because girls want to rock the Curry Fives too. That's dope. <laughs> That's a dope letter. Riley Morrison. Well, he actually took the time out to write a letter back to her. Uh-huh. And he said, I appreciate your concern. I spent the last two days talking to Under Armour, Under Armour about how we can fix the issue. Unfortunately, we have labeled smaller sizes as boys on the website. We are correcting this now. I want to make sure you can wear my kicks proudly. So I'm going to send you a pair of Curry Fives now. And they also have something special in the works for International Women's Day on March 8th. That's dope. That's that dope. dope. That's a dope letter. I, I love the fact that, that young girls are standing up and they know what's right and what's wrong. And they're standing up for themselves. I love it so much. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.